this is what we're talking about here. Uh, it's already 2 billion people in the world living in extreme water stress areas. And the estimate is 5 billion people, or like half of the global population by 2050. It's something that we felt is something we need to do something about. Lots of something there. Anyways, and water, the water issue is not just about water. It's also about water's carbon footprint. As in this example, just the public water supply for residential, commercial, municipality, excluding agriculture, industrial, and everything, is 6% of the US national electricity consumption. So it's not uh, unimportant. So our insight was that we don't use the water efficiently enough. What happens in taps is that the water runs down and you actually only use the water touching your skin or plates or whatever. The rest is just going down the drain. And it's millions of gallons of water all the time, fresh water that's been pumped, heat and everything that just goes down the drain. And the traditional way of, of uh, doing something about this is the restriction of the flow of water. But at some point in time, you lose functionality, right? So you need a new technology in order to use the water more effic effic efficiently. And that's what we do with atomization in taps. So basically what we do when we atomize water in taps is that we shoot out a high speed, heavy, dense mist with millions of drops of water. Each drop has its own surface area, which means you basically use every single drop coming out of the tap. And the result is astonishing. Because what happens is that suddenly you can wash your hands with full uh, functionality by using only 2% uh, compared to a regular faucet. And it's amazing for washing hands. Not so great for filling up a glass of water. It takes about <laughs> three minutes. So we needed to also do a switch into more of a regular spray mode, still saving 85%, but giving you all the water you need in the bathroom setting, for example. And it's a retrofit solution. 30 second installation, very cheap uh, and super simple to install and retrofit in current taps all over the world. So potential, I know that we're not going to roll out this in households in every uh, uh, household in the whole city, but what if we did? Like, right. So it's 40 million gallons in Los Angeles saving potential. It's 50 million gallons in Rio de Janeiro, 220 million gallons in Tokyo, and 240 million gallons in Shanghai every single day going down the drain, not being used. And we're super excited to be here today showing off that, that it's not just about saving water. It's saving emissions as well, and we're very happy to get the Climate Solver 2018. And we're absolutely going to surpass the 27 million tons that you based that on. <laughs> it's a promise. Um, so let's look a little bit more. So water stress is not just for consumers, right? It's businesses and governments uh, alike. And it's uh, lots of different stuff driving this uh, change. It's legislation with increased uh, fines. It's consumer awareness uh, affecting pur purchase decisions and also financial increasing utility uh, costs. So uh, we created this product and the idea was, oh, we're gonna do a pro premium product for uh, California more or less. That did not happen. <laughs> uh, the whole world called. And we had uh, from business to business, from governments, from airports, from, from all of these different places interested in our product. Uh, but we didn't have the right product for them. We had a product for households. So what did we do? We sent them our first product and asked them, so if in a perfect world, how do you want this to work? And we got feedback and that's the basis for our product development that we're launching this year with products specifically designed for hotels, public areas, and developing markets. Go to market, a little bit short here, but we're basically using the attention we got when launching this product and finding very strong uh, distributors. We cannot be all over the world as a young startup. So we find strong distributors instead with current uh, distribution networks. We also use corporate partnerships. So we have one global retail company that's gonna be public in a couple of weeks, Unilever and City of Cape Town now, and we're gonna expand that more. Uh, amazing team, of course, like everyone. I, if you're interested in knowing more about them, come to me afterwards. So, next two years, what are we doing? We wanna build the organization, of course, 
launch new products to open new segments, as I talked about, scale up R&D, and okay, that's what we're going to do. We're looking for 50 million Swedish uh, of external capital. And then we have a future as well. But I have a stop sign now, so, so you're just going to read about it. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Yuan.